Father, we thank you that you are the Almighty God. Jesus, you are the great I am. 
And we come to you tonight with hearts so open and so ready to hear from heaven. And I thank you that your presence fills this place. That that fire does burn in us. And I pray, Father, that each and every one of us would leave here tonight refreshed and strengthened in your presence. And we just trust you, Lord, as we go to your word tonight. That your word will speak to us in a real and fresh way. Thank you that your word is alive. And it speaks right to where we are in our situation. And Lord, I pray that it goes beyond these walls. That this message would reach far beyond. Because your word is so mighty it could touch us right where we are wherever we are and we just thank you Lord for this night in Jesus name Amen. 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 Glory to God. Well, would you turn around and just greet those that are around you tonight? This evening, go ahead and open your Bibles to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. And tonight is the sixth time uh, on our real life 2018. And again, I think our Wednesday night Bible studies are important. Wednesday night is important for our real life. Because to live a blessed life. I believe we need to have fresh word in us. And so the Wednesday night service is to just stir up and refresh and, and give you something more for life. And tonight I have a message I believe that is fresh from God. And it is for you. Say, this is for me. And you might say, I'm not going to say that till I know what you're saying. <laughs> but I believe this is going to bless you and it's going to help you. And so get ready. Get ready to receive from the Lord. And hear what it is that he wants to speak to us tonight. But I want to talk about uh, God's provision. And for the next couple of weeks, I want to kind of just entitle this God's provision is dot dot dot. And we're going to talk about what God's provision is. Because a lot of people, they, they ask, well, what is God's provision? How do I know when God provides? How do I know what's me? How do I know what's my mom? And how do I know what's somebody else? Well, I want to look at some things about God's provision. And and I, because I believe this is something that, that will continue to impact all of us until the day we die. We need to have God's provision daily. Amen. Amen. And you need to be looking for God's provision daily. Amen. Amen. This is not something that we occasionally just see God come through. I think when we are looking for God's provision, we will see God's provision. When we begin to be more thankful for all that we have in life. That every day we wake up and we can be thankful that we have have a place to live and food to eat and clothes to put on our back. Please 
place to live. Yeah, you know, whatever it is that, that you have in life. That you would be thankful. Because you understand it comes from the supplier. And today, uh, as we read here from Philippians 4, in this letter that Paul wrote to the Philippians, it's considered one of the more happy letters that Paul wrote. It, it, it kind of gives us a more personal side of Paul. Because Paul started the church at Philippi. Sest Paulus alustas seda kirikud Filippuses. He loved the Philippian people. Ta armastas Filippasi. Uh, he had, and so he writes this letter differently to them than he did to say the Corinthians or to uh, the Romans or. Ja ta kirjutab seda kirja vähe teist moodi kui ta kirjutas Korintlastele või netis Roomastele. Because he's not trying to correct anything here. Sest ta ei ürita neid kuidagi korrigeerida sin. He's not writing them trying to answer all of their disputes. Ta ei ei ürita neid kirjas kirjutada või seda kirja kirjutada neile et mingisuguse diageelused teab peatada. He was just encouraging them and thanking them. Ta lihtsalt julgustas neid ja tänas neid. And so this is a very positive a very happy letter. Nii et see on väga positiivne ja väga rõõmsamelne kirja. And but you need to understand understand where this letter is coming from. Aga sul on väga mõista, kus kohas see kiri pärineb. This letter is coming from the end of Paul's ministry, the end of Paul's life. Kiri on kirjutatud Pauluse elu lõpuajal. He has gone through all the things that he has gone through. Ta on läinud läbi kõikidest asjadest, mida ta läbi läks. He is now in in uh, Rome and in his trial of his life. Ta on nüüd hetkel on ta Roomas ja ta on oma elu kohtu võitluses. And uh, at the end of this trial they will take his life. Ja selle nii ta kohtu protsessi lõpuks võetaksegi paluselt elu ära. And so uh, you know it, it's it's an amazing letter to understand what what point in his life that Paul is writing this. Nii et see on hämmastav kui sa mõistad kus kohas Paulus kirjutas just selle kirja. What he is going through the 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 trials that are happening in his life the difficulties having right now. Milles tema on tol hetkel läbi minema, see millised raskused temal tol hetkel on. And then for it to come across as one of the most positive and upbeat and happy letters that he would ever write. Ja et sellises oludes Paulus kirjutab midagi niivõrd rõõmsameeselt ja niivõrd positiivselt. But before I, I read any of this today, I want, to, I want you to say something. Aga enne kui me loeme üldse seda täna, siis ma tahan, et sa ütleksid midagi. I want you to just to declare this. Ma tahan, et sa tunnistaksid seda ja ütleksid seda. Say, I have needs. Ütle, mul on vajadused. But I am not needy. Aga ma ei ole vajadustes. Aga ma ei ole vajadustes. Ma ei ole vajadustes. All right, let's say it again. Yeah. I have needs. Mul on vajadused. <laughs> but I am not needy. Aga ma ei ole, uh, ma ei ole vajadustes. That doesn't translate? Yeah, it doesn't go that well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, what that means is this. <laughs> is that you are always going to have needs in your life. On see, et sul alati saab olema mingisuguseid vajadusi. But I, you know, everybody has needs. Ja kõigil on vajadused. But I don't want you to walk around thinking that you're um, needy. Aga I don't know, I don't know a better word. Kirjaksid, kuna sa on sul on mingi vajadused nii-öelda. Uh, you know, we, we need to have peace in our life. Meil peaks elus olema rahu. We need to come to a place where we understand that, that I will always have needs. Ma tahan, et me võistaksime, et, et me, meil alati saab mingisugused vajadused olema. No matter how much money you make, you're going to have needs tomorrow. Kui palju sa ka raha täna ei teeniks, sul ikkagi homme on mingisugused vajadused. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life, there will be some needs that need to be met. Kui, kui sul on ka, if you have... No matter what's going on in life. Mis iganes sinu elus ka toimub, ikkagi homme sul saab mingisugused vajadused olema. You, you're going to have to have something tomorrow. Sul on vaja midagi, et sul oleks ka homme. It's the way life goes. Käib, käib but kõrvast. I don't want you walking around with a sad face. Aga ma ei taha, et sa käiksid see võttu ringi mingi nukre naaga. See on got so many needs. Et mul on ikka nii palju vajadusi. Yeah. Nobody cares. Keegi, keegi ei hooli minust. And I'm just, I just, I just, you know, I've got needs. Mul on ikka vajadusi küll. Oh, everybody has needs. Kõigil on vajadusi. I don't want to hear about your sad story. I can tell you my sad story. Ma, sa võid rääkida oma kurbalugu, mina võin rääkida oma kurbalugu. Everybody has needs. Kõigil on vajadusi. 
You get that. Right? Everybody always will have needs. Kõigil saab alati olema vajadusi. But I don't want us to be needy people. Aga ma ei taha, et me nii oleksime nendest vajadustest kinni. We, we need to be content. Me peaksime olema rahul. We need to be satisfied. Me peaksime olema rahuldatud. We need to have peace in our hearts. Meil peaks südames olema rahul. We need to have hope for our future. Me peaks olema lootus tuleviku suhtes. And even though I have needs. No, kuigi mul on vajadused. I know all my needs will be taken care of because I serve a God in heaven who is alive. Ma kõik minu vajadused saab Amen. Amen. And so I want to I want to read what Paul writes here to these Philippians in the Roman, or Philippians chapter four. Mida Paulus kirjutas Filipastele Paulus kiri Filipastele neljas peadu. And I'm going to start reading here, starting in verse ten. Aga me kümnen ta salmist lugema. And he says, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. <coughs> Väga suureks rõõmuks isandas oli mulle see, et te viimaks jälle virgusite mõtlema minule, sest te ei olete ju mõelnud, aga teil polnud sobivad juhust. And when he talks about their concern, they had sent a financial offering to help Paul. Mida nad räägivad, millest ta räägib siin on see, et nad olid saatnud muidu Paulusele varem nii-öelda ohvri korjanduse. And so, uh, goes on in verse 11, it says, and I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content. Ühetõistmides salmis Paulus räägib, ma ei ütle seda puuduse pärast, kuna ma olen õppinud olema rahul sellega, mis mul on. No matter what the circumstance. Vaatamata olukorda tõve. He said, I am content. Ütle, ma olen rahul. No matter what the circumstance. Vaatamata olukorda tõve. How many of you could say that about your life? Kui palju teist võiks sama asja öelda enda kohta? This should be our goal. Aga see peaks olema meie eesmärk. That if I have a phone or not, I'm content. Et kas mul on telefon olemas või mitte, ma olen rahul. If I have... Uh, you know, money to eat at McDonald's, or I have money to eat at a very nice restaurant, I'm content. Et kui mul on raha, et süüa McDonald's, siis või mul on raha süüa mingis väga, väga uh, jõu, rikas uh, või kallis restoranis, siis ma olen ikkagi rahul. That we would be content in any circumstance. Et me oleksime rahul, mis iganes olukorras me oleme. And it goes on to say in verse 12. Ja 12. salmis jätkab. I know what it is to be in need. Ma oskan elada kehvalt. How many know what it is to be in need? And he goes on to say this. He said, I know what it is to have plenty. How many know, 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 we got plenty. For some of you, that's like the first of the month and the end of the month, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> and it goes on to say this. Ja, edasi räägib niimoodi. I have learned the secret of being content in every situation, whether fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Ma olen kõigega ja kõigiga uh, oludega tuttav, nii kõutu täis sööma kui nälgima, elama nii õukuses kui puuduses. He's learned a secret. Ta on õppinud sellise saladuse. He's, he's learned a secret. Ta on nii-öelda saanud teada sellise saladuse. And he didn't say, I'm going to hide it from you because it's my secret. <laughs> He's going to tell them what this secret is. And so he said, I've learned the secret of being content no matter what my situation. And then in verse 13, it says, and I can do all things through him who gives me strength. That's awesome. Listen to what it says in the Amplified. I can do everything to fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Ma olen ise enesest täidetud Kristuse, Kristuse täitmises. And I am ready for anything. Ja ma olen valmis kõigeks. He was ready for anything. Ta oli valmis kõigeks. What does that mean? Mida see tähendab? That means he was ready to have plenty and he was ready to have nothing. See tähendab, et ta oli valmis, kas tal on vähe või palju. It wasn't going to change him. See ei olnud asja olnud, mis oleks ta muutnud. Because he's ready. Sest ta on valmis. How many know when you're ready? You can handle it. And so he wasn't saying, I just want it to only go good. And if it doesn't go good, I'm going to write you another letter and really complain. No. He said, I'm ready for 
anything. I can do anything through him who gives me inner strength. And confident peace. He had an inner strength. And he had confident peace. And he could do anything through Christ Jesus who was strengthening him. And then in verse 14 he did say this. He says, yet it was good for you to share in my troubles. Paul said, I have needs. But I'm not needy. But it was good for you. That you would share my troubles. In other words, he's saying, thanks for the offering. I'm not begging for, for money. I'm not begging for offering. But I sure appreciate your help. I sure appreciate you helping me in my troubles. Sharing with me the load. Verse 15, he says, Moreover, as, as you Philippians know, in the early days of our acquaintance, of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out for Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you only. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid more than once when I, had, when I was in need. Verse 17, Paul's reaffirming his heart. He said, not that I desire your gift, what I desire more is what's accredited to your account. So I have received my payment in full and I have more than enough. I am amply supplied now that I've received this, this uh, from, from Aphrodite, the gift that you sent me. Here's a name you might consider for your, your baby. Epaphroditus. <laughs> He'd probably be the only kid in school with that name, so that'd be really cool. I don't know if your wife would agree with that, but you could talk to her about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to Christian? <laughs> no. Ah, Tauri, ah, it's like, Thank you, Freddie. Just be my interpreter, not my uh, conscience. Okay, and uh, verse 18. Uh, it said, I have, uh, okay, uh, I have received the full payment and have more than enough. I am amply supplied now that I have received from Amphrodite the gift you sent. As, uh, the, they are a fragrant offering, acceptable sacrifice, and pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. That's an awesome verse. Amen. That's a verse you should know. Thank God. That when we put God first, we can know and trust that he's going to meet all our needs. When we help others, we can expect to be helped. Paul said, you're the only church that understood this, this sowing and reaping thing. You're the only church who partnered with me in this way. And as you blessed me, you were blessed. And this is how it works. Now, can you imagine Paul? He's traveled all over the world at this point. All the known world. All over the known world at that time. He's gone everywhere to the Gentiles preaching the gospel. And only the church at Philippi was the faithful, faithful supporter of Paul. Thousands upon thousands of people are now saved and going to heaven because of Paul. 
tuhanded ja tuhanded inimesed said pastetiga oli teel taevas see tänu Paulusele. But only the church at Philippi was a faithful supporter. Aga ainult Filippuse kogudus oli ainus, kes oli uustav toetamada. So I want you to see what's going on right now in Paul's life. Ja ma tahan, et sa näeksid, mis Paulus elus toimub. This is a very difficult time for Paul. Tegelikult väga keeruline ja raske aeg tema elus. Paul is... Uh, you know, struggling and, and towards the end of things. Paulus on siin mõitlemas ja oma elu lõpusirgel juba. And then the Philippian church, they've renewed their relationship in helping him. Ja Filipuse kogudus oli nii-öelda taastanud oma toetust tema suhtes. They've sent Epaphroditus to come and to, to bring a financial gift and to be there as a support. Ta oled saadnud sinna Epaphroditase abistama ja toetama teda. Send him with a yeah. financial gift and to, and to be a support. And so they, they, they earned Paul's trust here because of their faithfulness to help him. And Paul, he let them in on a secret. <laughs> he said, I, I want to tell you the secret. I want to tell you how I can be content no matter what's going Kuidas on. Ma saan olla rahul now you don't tell your secret to your enemies or to strangers. At least you shouldn't. <laughs> Some people got big mouths, but that's another story. But you should tell your secrets to the ones that you love. You tell your secrets to your friends. And so he's writing to them as friends, as ones that he loves. And he says, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you how I do this. I want you to, to be able to get through life like I get through life. No matter what. No matter what need I have, I'm content. I have peace. I have a confidence inside. Because I know my future is going to be better than I am right now because he's with me. And no matter what I have to go through, He's here with me. Ja millest iganes me pean ka läbi minema, ma, ma tulen sellest läbi, sest tema on koos minuga. And I'm never alone. Ja ma ei ole kunagi üksinda. He's with me. Tema on minuga. I always have help. Mul on naati abi olemas. Because he's with me. Sest jumal on minuga. And so he makes his needs known to them. Ja ta jagab neile ka oma vajadust. He says, yes, I've got needs, but I'm not needy. Ütlevid, jah, mul on vajadusi, aga ma ei ela nendest vajadust. And so that, you know, when, when, when they sent him that gift, what he's saying is, I really needed that. That really helps. Because I, I, I was wondering what was going to happen. I was wondering what, how I was going to pay for this trial. And so thank you for the help. I needed that help. Thank you for sending Epaphroditus. I needed his support. And even though Paul's needs are great, here. Uh, he, he focuses less on the needs than he does on the supply and the supplier. Paul's focus was never on his needs. He says, yeah, I got needs. Yes, this is not easy. But my focus isn't on my needs, my focus is on my supplier. I'm looking to the supply, not to the need. And so this is how Paul is living his life. And, and his need right now is probably greater than it's ever been. But he's focused on Jesus. He says in the, the trial of my life, he gives me strength. And I know that as he has supplied for me, he's going to supply for me. This is a happy and upbeat letter. Paul's not saying, man, it's been a long road. <laughs> you know, he's not saying, man, I can't wait to go ahead and get this trial finished and just go be with the Lord. That's what I just want to do. I hope you guys are going to be okay without me because I'm just giving up. That's not his letter. 
Ei, ta ei kirjuta nii. He's saying, I can do all things because he's with me. Ütleb, ma suudan kõike ja tänu sellele, et tema on koos minuga. All my needs have always been met because he's been with me. Kõik minu vajadused on alati täidetud, sest tema on koos minuga. And now God is going to supply your needs too. Ja nüüd Jumal täidab ka teie vajadused. I think in our lives we need to make a decision. Ma usun, et oma elutest meil on vaja teha selline otsus. We need to make a decision on what side we're going to live our lives. Meil on vaja otsustada, et kus pool me elame oma elut. Are we going to live our lives focused on the needs? Kas me elame sellel pool, kus me keskindume vajadustele? Or are we going to live our lives focused on the needs? Upon the supply. Are we going to be looking at what we lack? Kas me keskendume ainult sellele, mis meil puudu on? Or are we going to be looking at what's coming? Me vaatame selle peale, mis on tulemas. I'm telling you, it's hard to live in faith if all you're doing is looking at your lack. Ma ütlen sulle, et usus on väga raske elada, kui sa ainult keskendud sellele, mis sul puudu on. If you're just writing a list of all your needs. Kui sa ainult kirjutad nimekirjasid sellest, mida sul on vaja. It's going to look a whole lot bigger. It's going to be hard to get into faith when all you're thinking about is what you don't have and not being thankful for what you do have. Aga raske on seista usus, kui sa keskindud ainult sellele, mida sul pole ja mis sul on puudu, kui et sa keskindud sellele, mis sul on antud ja oleksid tänud ikk selle eest. We need to live on the supply side, that's my point. Minu point on selles, et me peaksime keskinduma sellele varustusele ja jääme sellele poolele. I want you to live on the supply side, not the need side. Ma tahan, et sa püsiksid sellele varustuse poole peal, et mitte vajaduste poole peal. And Paul lived on the supply side. Ja Paulus elas selle varustuse poole peal. In his spiritual walk with the Lord, he never complained about what he didn't have, he was always looking for what he did have. Oma vainises kõnakus ta kunagi keskinud sellele, mis ta puud oli, vaid sellele, mis ta oli Jumala käes. And he did not focus on his needs. Nii ja ta ei keskendunud oma vajadustele. He knew his needs would be met by the supply. Sest ta teadis, et tema vajadused saavad täidetud varustaja poolt. That's how he could be this man of faith that went anywhere and did anything for God. Seda si ta saigi olla siin usumees, kes läks kõikele ja tegi seda, mis oli vaja. He kept his eyes on the supply. Ta hoidis oma silmi sellel varustuse. He kept his trust in Jesus Christ that he was with him. Ta hoidis oma lootust ja usaldust Jumala peale, et tema on koos temaga. And so this is where we want to live our lives. See on koht, kus meie tahame elada oma elus. We want to live in the view point of supply et me keskindume oma ilu sellele, et meil on varustaja. And when somebody comes to you and starts asking about all your need, ja kui keegi tuleb sinu elu ja hakkab küsima järjest sinu vajadustele kohta, but how can you live without this and how could you survive without that? Kuidas sa saad elada ilma sellete? Kuidas sa tuled toimi ilma sellete? You know, don't you wish you had what I have? Kas sa ei tahaks, et sa oleks neid, mis mul on? You need to just say, man, I've got this and I've got this and I've got this. Hey, so that's all. Then, come on, say, come on, say, come on, say that. You know, it's not about what I don't have; it's what I do have that makes me happy. Say that, I mean, tell me, because we're not poor, but say we're not poor. And I know that in my future, my supplier is going to supply for me. I'm going to have more than enough. It's it's coming. It's on the way. I'm going to have more than enough. It's it's coming. It's on the way. I'm going to have more than enough. It's it's coming. It's on the way. I'm going to have more than enough. It's it's coming. It's on the way. I'm going to have more than enough. It's it's coming. It's on the way. I'm going to have more than enough. It's it's coming. It's on the way. With whatever you have. Sa peaks olema rahulik sellega, mis sul on. Don't be comparing to one another. This is where a lot of people get into trouble. Ära võrd lennast üksteisega, sest see on see koht, kus paljud satuvad pahandustest. It's when you start comparing your shirt to his shirt and said, I wish I had little white specks. Kui sa vaatad, et minu särgi ei ole valgeid täppi, ma tahaks ka, et mul oleks. I wish I had like little bracelet on with little beads all over my wrist. Ma tahaks ka, et mul oleks ka võrdselise rägedad ja mumulised. And I wish I had a little watch that told me how fast my heart was beating too. Ja ma tahaks ka, et mul oleks selline kelm, mis näitab, kui kiiresti mu südada uksub. And so you can start looking at everything that other people have. Et sa võid nagu hakata vaatama ja jälgima seda, mis teistel inimestel on. That you don't have. Mida sulle ei ole. And you can start feeling like, well, I just don't know. Sa tunned ja mõtled, et I don't have anything. Mul ei ole midagi. Nobody, come on. Nobody cares about me. Keegi ei hooli minust. Well, when you've got your clothes, you've got your shoes. Aga sul on kingad jalas, sul on riided seljas. Yeah, I'm looking fine. Aga kuule, ma näeb väga hea välja. I just don't have what he has. Kui lihtsalt ei ole seda, mida temal on. But he has his supply. Aga temal on tema varustus. And I have my supply. Minul on oma varustus. Amen. Amen. I need to be happy with who I am. I need to be thankful for what God has done. Not looking at what I don't have. But being thankful for what I do have. Amen. Amen. This is how we can be content in life. And so God is never going to put you at a place in your life where you have 
no needs. Need Jumal ei pane sin kunagi sellisesse kohta, kus sul mitte mingisuguseid vajadusi ei ole. Well, if I just get enough faith, I'll get to a point I have no more needs. Ja kui mul on piisavalt usku, siis kui ma jõuan sinna, kus mul pole mingid vajadusi. It's not going to happen. Ei ole seist kohta. That's that's never God's promise. Ja see ei ole ka Jumala taotus. God didn't say if you have enough faith you have no need. Jumal ei öelnud, et kui sul on piisavalt usku, siis sul ei ole enam mingid vajadusi. He says if you have faith, I'll meet your needs. Ja kui sul on usku, siis ma täidan su vajadused. Because you'll always have needs. You'll need to eat today, but you'll need to eat tomorrow too. Right? You'll still have needs. You're going to need relationships. You're going to need people. And so we have needs in our life. And there will always be needs. But God will always supply. And so stop focusing on your lack and just look to the supply. And when you begin looking at things from the supply side and not from the need side, you're going to get to a place where you start having a inner confidence. You're going to begin to have an inner strength knowing I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be content. I'm going to be thankful. I, I know that God is with me. And, and you can't take that away. When you begin to think on this level, you're not going to be complaining about what you don't have. You're going to put a smile on your face for what you do have. Because there will be people who look at you and wish they had what you have. There's people that look at you and wish they lived in your country. There's people that look at you and wish that they could wear what you wear. Wish they could eat what you eat. So stop looking at the, you know, the richest person on your street and thinking, I don't have anything. Start being thankful for what you have. Knowing that God is the one who supplies all your needs. He's the one that gives you the ability to prosper. He gives you the strength. He gives you the ideas. He gives you the, the, the ability to produce wealth. And just know that no matter what comes, no matter how difficult it gets, you're coming through. Amen. Amen. I'm coming through. It doesn't matter how, how big the, the need is, I'm coming through. Amen. Look to God for the answers instead of looking at, at your life and the problems. And so Paul, he said he learned a secret of being content. And even in the time of his greatest need, Paul is content. And he said, I'm not asking you for anything. I'm sure I'm thankful you sent it. I'm not asking you to do anything for me, but wow, you guys are awesome. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for supplying. And you know, Paul, he, he, he wasn't the richest guy on the street. But I think he was one of the happiest guys on the street. He said, I don't need all this, to, all I need is him. All I need is my Lord and my Savior doing what he's told me to do. And I'm content. If, I'm just, if I could just fulfill the call on my life, man, what a blessing. And so Paul, he's living on a whole nother level than what most people are living. I'm sure he's the only one that was going through this, these kind of things that, that, that had a positive attitude. But you can get through anything. And you need to know that no matter how difficult your season is, 
ga je ola. You can break through and you can go into a new season. Sa vitsest lävi murda ja minna uuda aasta aega nii. You can get the victory. Sa võid olla võidukas. If you'll just keep your confidence and look to God. Kui sa võid hoiad kinni oma kindlusest ja ja vaatad Jumala peale. Now sometimes it might not happen exactly when you want it to happen. Nüüd asja võib ole juhtu täpselt siis kui sa tahad et need juhtuks. I don't know about you but I've had things I've been believing God for for years and they still haven't happened. Ma ei tea kuidas on sinuga aga minu elus on küll asju mida ma olen uskun juba aasta et Jumala käest aga see pole ikka veel juhtunud või need pole juhtunud. Does mean they're not going to happen. Aga see ei tähenda et need ei saa juhtuma. They just haven't happened. Yeah. Need lihtsalt pole veel juhtunud. Right? No nii. I'm still believing God. Ma ikkagi tusun Jumalalt. They're going to happen. Et need asjad juhtuvad. God is going to come through for me. Ja Jumal toob mind läbi neist. And I'm going to come through the situation. Ja ma tulen nendest olukordadest läbi. And when I do, I'm going to celebrate. Ja kui ma teen seda, siis ma tähistan. Because I know it is him and not me. Siis ma tean, et, et see on Jumalast, mitte minust. Huh? And so we're coming through. Nii, me tuleme läbi. We're going to come through this season. Me tuleme läbi sellest ajast. But just know that in every season of your life. Aga tea, et igas elu ajas. That he is your supplier. Jumal on ikkagi sinu varustaja. Just say this. Ütle seda. Say in every season of my life. Ütle, et igas minu elu hooajas, igas minu elu hooajas. He is my supplier. Jumal on minu varustaja. Amen. He is. Ta on. He is all that you need him to be. Ta on sinu jaoks kõik, mis sa vajad, et oleks. And you need to look to him to be your supplier daily. Ja sinu on vaja vaadata tema peale kui oma varustaja peale iga päev. But as we look at this. Aga kui me vaatame selle peale. And you see Paul making all these great statements. Ja sa näed, kuidas Paulus teeb need suured niiöelda äh punktid toob sinna esile. You could miss Paul's message. Ja sa vaid il- nagu otsa kui ilma jääda Pauluse sõnumist. And I think a lot of the church has. Ja mõsun ka et palju kogudusest on jäänud sellest ilma. You could miss Paul's message. Sa võid jääda ilma Pauluse sõnumist. If you only read the two good verses. Kui sa loed ainult seda kahte head salmsid. Verse 13. Ja on 13. And verse 19. Ja, sa ei mõeks seda teist. The two verses everybody knows. Need on need kaks salmi mida absoluutse kõik kristlased teavad. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. Ma suudan kõik tema läbi, kes annab mulle tugevuse. Like Paul's about to bench 250 pa- uh, kilos. Sa on nagu Paulus hakkaks rinnal 220 või 120 kilo suruma. And I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. Ja ma suudan kõik, kes siis Kristus annab mulle tugevuse. Like he's just rocking it. Nagu ta siin paneks täiega. And nothing's going to stop him. Ja miski ei takista teda, miski ei peata teda. Put on a shirt. Panen selgeseks siis särgi. Cut off the sleeves. Lõikab sealt varukat maha. And I can do all things. Ja ma suudan teha kõike. That's not really what he's saying. Aga see ei ole nagu päris see, mida ta siin ütleb. No, I think it's cool if you got it on a shirt and you're doing that. Nüüd, mõtlegi, kui sa leek kõike seda, see on vägev. But don't miss Paul's message. Aga ära jää ilma Paulus seda sõnumest siin. Where is he writing this from? Kus kohas ta esiteks kirjutab seda? What's going on in his life? Mis toimub tema elus? What is he struggling with? What's he fighting? Millega ta võitleb? Mis on tema katsumused siin? What's happening right now? Mis toimub sel hetkel? He has more on him pressure wise than probably any of us in this room. Tema tema õlgadel on suurem surve kui ühelgi meie meie peal on mõsun praegu. And don't miss the context in which this was written. Ja ära jää ilma sellest kontekstist, kus see kirja pandi. Because if you just pull out that he's my strength. Ja kui sa loed lihtsalt ainult seda, et oh, ta on mu tugevus. And if you just pull out verse 19 and say he supplies all my needs. Ja sa võtad ainult selle 19. Nüüd sa ütled, et tema täidab kõik minu vajadused. Not according to me, but according to him. Mitte vastavalt minule, vaid vastavalt temale. Those are awesome verses. I got what Simon Mitkas pole. Every Christian should know those verses. Ja iga kristlane peaks teama neid kohti. I stand on those verses. Ja ma täega seisan nendel kirjavõtel. I'm not making fun of those verses. Ma ei viska nalja nende üle. We need those verses. Me on vaja neid salme. But remember where they're written from. Aga pea meeles ka seda, kus neid kirjutati. And I guarantee you it's going to make those verses have power in your life. Ma garanteerin sulle, et see Pane väe taha nendele salmidele sinu elus. That I can do, no matter what I lack. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Ja ma tõesti suudan kõik läbi Kristuse Jeesuse, kes annab mulle tugevuse vaatamata olukordadele. Don't tell me what I don't have, I'll tell you what I do have. Ära ütle mulle, mida mul pole, sest ma ütlen sulle, mida mul on. He gives me the strength. Sest tema annab mulle tugevuse. 
He will supply all your needs. Varustab, täidab kõik sinu According to his riches and glory. Vastavalt oma rikkusele Jeesusele. Through, through Christ Jesus. Näbi Kristus Jeesus. <coughs> this is ours. This is available to all who would believe. Ja see on kätte saadav meile. Kõigile, kes on valmis uskuma seda. And so here Paul, he has great lack. And he is declaring God's strength. And he's preaching about God's supply. And 13, he's saying, my God strengthens me. And by the time he gets to 19, he's like, and he's going to supply all your needs too, glory to God. <laughs> I mean, he's building himself up as he's writing this letter. He's building them up as he writes this letter. You know my lack. You know what I'm struggling with. You know what I'm going through. That's why you sent the gift and you sent Aphrodite. That's why he's here, because you know what I'm going through. But man, I'm strong. Aga olen ma vastu tugev. And my needs are fully supplied. Ja minu vajadused on täielikult täidetud. I'm lacking nothing in this world. Mul ei ole midagi puudu siin ilmas. Thank you for your gift. Aitäh teile teie anni eest. But I lack nothing. Aga mul pole millestest puud. And I can do all things. Ja ma suudan teha kõike. Because he's with me and he's strengthening me every day in my life. Mind igapäev. This isn't coming from the rich guy that's living in the castle on the hill with 75 servants. And see jut ei tule mingisuguse jõuke inimese käes, kes elab künka otsas loisis ja tal on mingi kaksis teenrit. This is coming from a guy who's lost everything and is in prison. See tuleb kellegi käes, kes on kõigest ilma jäänud ja kes pesitseb pangast praegu. And he's going to die. Ja ta on suuremas. Remember, your problem is probably not as bad as Paul's. And there's so many times that I talk to Christians who don't really have problems. But they're crying. And they're sad. And they're mad. They're mad at God. They're mad at people. Because something didn't go their way. Wow, really? Päriselt. Really? Päriselt. Are we so weak that we're just going to give up all that God's given to us just when something doesn't go our way? Now, if you're feeling emotionally weak and you're going through something, I'll pray for you. I'll believe God for clarity and I'll believe God to, to heal your heart and get you back to see things right. But don't think I'm going to feel sorry for you. I'll love you. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. I'll pray for you. But I'm not going to cry a tear for you. Because the truth is, you are so blessed. We are blessed people. We've got a great God that we serve. We've got a great church that we come to. We've got people around us who will support us and love us. We live in a country where nobody died today because there was a bomb dropped. Me elame riigis, kus keegi praegu surma ei saanud selle tõtte, et kuskil pillati pomma. There's food in our grocery stores. Meie poodides on toitu. We've got nothing to really complain about. Me tegelikult ei ole midagi, mille pärast virisada. So shake off the dust. Nii et raputa tolm ennalt maha. And remind yourself of what Paul reminded himself of daily. Ja meenuta endale seda, mida Paulus meenutas endale igapäev. I'm so blessed. Ja ma olen nii õnnistatud. I'm so blessed. Look at all I've been able to do with my life. And I've even got to come to Rome and I'm preaching to all these people here. <laughs> he even writes in the letter, he said, and all the family here sends greetings back to you, you Philippian people. What was that code for? There's Christians in Rome too. I'm here. 
Ja mina olen siin. There's Christians in Rome too. Ja ka Roomas on Kristus iga. And your family here sends greetings to the family there. Ja pere siin teritab pere teil seal. Paul's love and life. Paulus armastab elu. Paul's having fun. Paulus on lõbus. People getting saved. Inimesed saavad päästetud. Lives are being changed. Elud saavad muudetud. And you look at him and he's got so many problems. Ja sa vaatad tema peale, kuule, et tal on niivõrd palju probleeme. And he said, no, I've got a supplier who, man, you just don't know. And it's a on varustaja, te pai muga kui hea varustaja. I've got a strengthener that man. Mul on tugevdaja. I just can't explain it. Mul on tugevdaja, keda ma ei suuda seletada teile. I've got so much in me and so much on me and so much around me. I, I I'm I'm at lost for words. Minu on nii palju ja minu üle on nii palju, minu ümber on nii palju, et et ma 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 ei suuda mul pole sõnu. And yes, I have needs. Ja. Ja, mul on vajadusi. But I'm not asking for nothing. Aga ma ei küsisin praegu midagi. Because I I choose not to be needy. Es ma otsustan mitte olla kinni oma vajadusest. I'm going to be satisfied in whatever situation I'm in in life. Ma ei raulda tot mis iganes olukorras ma olen. Because I've been happy and I've been sad. Es ma olen olnud õnnelik ja ma olen olnud kurb. And I've had plenty and I've had lack. Ja mul on olnud piisavalt ja mul on puudujak. And I I I I have plenty to eat and I've been starving. Mul on piisavalt süüa ja ma olen olnud näljas ka. And in every situation I've been in. Ja aga igas olukorras. He's my supplier. Jumal on minu varustaja. He gives me confidence. Tema annab mulle kindlust. I found the key to having contentment in life. Ma olen leidnud selle võtme, kuidas olla rahul igas elu olukorras. And so Paul is declaring these things. Ja Paulus tunnistab need asju ja kuulutab need asju. He's been betrayed. Teda on reedetud. He's been imprisoned. Teda on pannud vangi. For really no reason at all. Ilma mingisuguse reaalse põhimõtteliselt. He is, he's been forgotten about. Teda on unustatud. People forgot that he was even alive. Inimesed unustasid ära, et isegi elus on. <laughs> he's been broke. Teda on murtud. Uh, uh, broken, like uh, ja, he, uh, financially he lacking. Teda on on puuduses. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and he says, my God is my strength. Ja ta ütleb, et Jumal on minu tugevus. <laughs> Because he still knows that he is Yahweh Jaira. Sest ta teab ikkagi, et tema on Jaira Jehova. Amen. He's Yahweh who supplies tema jahve kes varustab all my need kõik minu vajadus according to his riches and glory vastavalt oma rikkusele kirkusega and i know that yahve ja ma tean et jahve is going to supply all your need varustab ka kõik teie vajadus according to his riches and glory vastavalt oma rikkusele amen as long as he still serves god seni kogu kui tema teenib jumala he's fine on tema kõik korras and he knows that god is going to supply ja ta teab et jumal varustab teda say god's my supplier ütleb, jumal on minu varustaja jumal on minu varustaja amen. Know that he will always supply for you. And get off of your little sad place and say, no, I'm not going to stay there. I'm coming to a thankful place. Ja hüppa oma kurbusest välja ja mine sinna kohta, kus sa saad tänulik olla. My God is with me. Minu Jumal on minu. And he will strengthen me. Ja ta tugevdab mind. And he will supply. Ja tema varustab mul. Now I have some needs. Mul on vajadusi. But I'm not needy. Aga ma ei ole ma vajadustes kinni. Amen. Amen. I've got needs. Mul on vajadusi. But you don't ever hear me standing up in front of you crying like a little needy baby. Aga te kunagi ei kuule, kuidas ma seisan, seisan teie ees ja nutan siin nagu ma oleks, ma ei tea, vajadustest baby. I'm going to keep a positive message. Ma ojan sõnu meid võimalda positiivsena. And I'm going to keep my eyes on my supplier. Ma ojan oma silmad uh, varustaja peal. And you watch and you'll see what God's going to do in my life. Ja sa vaata ja jälgi, kuidas Jumal teeb asju minu jõudus. You keep your eyes on God. Kui sa hoiad oma silmad Jumala peal. Everybody around you will watch and see what God does in your life. Kõik inimesed sinu ümber näevad ja vaatavad, kuidas Jumal teeb asju sinu. Because when you're looking for the supply, you will find the supply. Sest kui sa otsid varustus, siis sa leiad selle varustus. When you're looking at lack, you're going to find lack. Ja kui sa kesendud puudusele, siis sul saab olema puudust. I want you to be finding more supply for your life. Ja, see leeks et rohkem varustust oma elus. And so forget about your need. Ja tunnusta oma vajadused. As far as the taking the pressure of it on yourself. Mis puudutab siis seda oma koorma kergendamist. Just know that you have a supplier who will meet all your need according to his riches. Ja, lihtsalt seda, et sul on varustaja, kes varustab vastavalt oma jõukusele sind. Paul learned that people cannot meet his needs. Paulus mõistis, et inimesed ei suuda täita tema vajadusi. He learned to be happy even having needs. Da suutis olla ka õnnelik ja rahuldatud oma vajaduste kesk. He learned to be happy even though people forgot about him. Ma õppis olema õnnelik, kuigi inimesed unustasid ta ära. I think for us, we need to stop putting all our needs on somebody else to meet. Ma mõtlen seda, et me peaksime lõpetama ära, et me paneme oma vajaduste täitmise inimeste õlge peale. But you're the one. Aga sina oled see inimene. Who needs to meet my needs. 
sina peaks siit täitma vaheliselt. Your boss. Vaatad oma ülemuse peale. Your husband, your wife. Oma abikaasa peale. Your friend. Oma sõbra peale. Church member. Koguduse liikme peale. Pastor. Pastori peale. Now as your pastor. A nüüd pastorina. There's needs in your life that I can meet. On, on vajadusi tee elus, mida ma võin ka, mida see ma võin teid aidata. And I'm happy to do it. Ja ma hea meelega teen seda. But I can't meet all your needs. Aga ma ei saa täita kõiki teie ajatusi. As your husband or wife, they're going to meet some needs in your life. Ja sinu abikaasa saab täita osad sinu vajadused. But they're not going to meet all your needs. Aga nad ei saa täitma kõik teie vajadused. Your boss can meet some needs in your life. Sinu ülemus saab täita mõned sinu vajadused. But he's not going to meet all your needs. Aga ta ei täida kõik sinu vajadused. Right? So stop putting all your hope on one person or one family and say, it's up to you to make me happy. And if you're not making me happy, then if you sit on that side of the church, then I'm going to sit on this side of the church. And I'm going to teach you a lesson. And I'm never going to forgive you. What? Really? This happens in church, folks. This happens where people get offended. Because they had an expectation from somebody and that person didn't meet that expectation. Well, I'm just going to... I'm not going to talk to you. I'm just... I'm not, I'm, I won't even look at you. <laughs> right? Oh, oh boy, we're really showing them now, aren't we? And that, that's really putting you in a better place now, isn't it? Stop putting your, your supply on, on the other people's shoulders, saying, okay, you need to supply for me, and you need to supply, and you need to... And stop saying, God, you're my supplier. Ja hakka ütlema, et Jumal, sin ole minu varustaja. You're all I need. Jumal, sin ole kõik, keda ma vähem. You, you, you strengthen me, you supply everything. I... Sina tugedad mind, sina varustad mind. I have no, no will want. Mul pole tegelikult enam mingisugused nii-öelda tahtmisi. All I want is you. Ma tahan ainult sind. And then you meet all my needs. Ja sina teedad kõik minu vajadused. And then I look to you. Ja siin ma vaatan sinu peale. And there you are supplying again. Ja jällegi Jumal sa varustad. And who's he going to use? Ja keda Jumal kasutab? People. Inimesi. God will use people. Ja Jumal kasutab inimesi. But I'm looking to God, not to the people. Aga ma vaatan Jumala peale, mitte inimeste peale. I'm not looking to you to make me happy. Ma ei vaata, et teie teeksite mind kuidagi õnnelikuks. But some of you made me really happy. Aga teate, mõned teist teevad mind päris õnnelikuks. Some of you make me smile. Mõni teist pane mind naeratama. Some of you have blessed me in my life. Mõned teist on õnnistanud mind tõeliselt. And I'm so thankful for what God's doing in your life. Ma olen väga tähemlik sellest, mida Jumal teeb sinu elus. But I look to God. I'm not looking to you. And just because you did it this week, I'm not going to come back next week and say, but... You know, where's that 20 this time? No, really? Not this week? Well, then I'm not talking to you. Stop it. Look to God, not to people. Look to God, not to people. Paul looked to God. And if, if, if you will learn to look to God to meet your needs, you're going to be happy and content and supplied and confident and satisfied. This is the kind of life that you and I should want to live. Because then we're going to be stable. And we're going to be the kind of people that other people want to be around. Because there's no pressure to be anybody when I'm with you. I don't only need to be with you when I'm happy or I don't only want to be with you when I'm sad. I can be whoever I am. Because you're not expecting anything from me. Sa ei oota, et ma oleksin kuidagi. And I'm not expecting anything from you. Mina ei oota ka sinult midagi vastu. We could just be real. 
Me võime lihtsalt olla avatud ja sellised nagu me oleme. Let's serve our God. Ja te inimene lihtsalt Jumalat. Because he's all we need. Sest Jumal on kõik, mida me vajame. But let's do this together. Aga teeme seda ühes kohas. God will use people. We need one another. Jumal kasutab inimesi nii, et me vajame üksteist. We need church. Me vajame kogudus. Don't think you can run away from church and just have your own relationship. Ära arva, et sa võid nii-öelda kogudusest lihtsalt mina me joosta ja sul võib lihtsalt oma suhe olla. Because you start isolating yourself and all you're doing is blocking the way that God can meet your needs. Sest kui sa eraldad ennast täielikult sellest, siis sa blokid ära selle viisi, kuidas Jumal saab õnnistada siin teelus. You need to be looking to meet other people's needs, not just focusing on yourself and your little needs. Siis peaksid vaatama, kuidas sina saaksid täita ka teiste inimeste vajadusi, mitte üksnes otsima, et teised inimesed täidaksid sinu vajadusi. You know one of the things that makes me happy is when I could help somebody else with their needs. Ja mis üks asjadest, mis teeb mind õnnelikuks on see, kui mina saan täita, aidata kedagi tema vajadusesses. And you don't need to be a millionaire to help somebody else. Ja tead, sa ei pea olema miljonär selleks, et sellest asja teha. You could just be kind. Sa võid olla lihtsalt lahke. You could just give them your time. Sa võid anda neile oma aega. You could just do things for people. Ja sa võid lihtsalt teha asju inimestele. To help meet their needs. Et lihtsalt aidata täita nende vajadusi. Man, this is what the body of Christ is all about. Selles seisnebki Kristus ehu. And so we need to get to a place that we could just trust God. Ja meil vaja jõuda sellesse kohta, kus me lihtsalt uusaldame Jumalan. And not look to people. Ja lihtsalt ei vaataks inimeste peale. We just need to say, God, you are going to be my supply and you will bring people in my life to do it. Meil on vaja öelda, et Jumal, sina teidad minu vajadus, et me usume, et Jumal sa kasutad ka inimesi selleks. And, you know, some people say, well, you know, all I need is God. Ja mõned ütlevad, jah, et ainus, mis ma vajan, on Jumal. Don't take this message and say that I said that. Ja, ja, ära palun võtta seda sõnumid niimoodi, et ma, et oh, pastor, sa ütlesid seda. All I need is God. Et ainus, mida ma vajan, on Jumala. That sounds really holy. See kõlab väga pühalt. But God is sitting in heaven saying, wrong! Aga Jumal istus taev, siis sa võtad, pole! You need people. Sul on ka inimesi vaja. You need one another. Teil on vaja üks teist. You need the church. Teil on vaja kogudus. Because through the church, God is going to get his blessing into your life. Eest läbi kogudus, Jumal saab tuua õnistus sinu ellu. Amen. Amen. And so we need one another. Ja me vajame teine teist. And we need him. Ja meie vajame ka teda. To bring people into our life. Et ta tooks inimesi meie ellu. And so we're not looking to people, we're just looking to him. Ja me ei vaata inimeste peale, aga me vaatame Jumala peale. But we're inviting people into our life. Aga me laseme inimestel tulla oma ellu. I want to invite people into this church and into our family. Ta on kutsuda inimesi siia kogudusse ja meie ellu. That way they would come into this place and they would feel so at home here. Seda siin nad võiksid tulla siia ja tunda ennast niivõrd kogudusest. That they'd feel accepted here. Nad tunnavad ennast vastu võetanud siia. That they would feel like this is a place that they could grow and become who God wants them to be. Nad tunneksid, et see on koht, kus nad saavad tulla ja uskud, et see on koht, kus Jumal tahab, et nad oleks. And listen, I've told you this before, but I'm not the one that makes them feel like that. Ei tea, ma olen sulle õnud ka seda varem, et mina ei ole see, kes teeb neid tundeid inimestest. You guys are the ones that make people feel that way. Te ei ole need, kes panevad inimesi tundma seda. It's not how the pastor treats them, it's how the people treat them. Asi pole selles, kuidas pastor kohtab inimesi, vaid kuidas inimesed kohtavad inimesi. Now I try to shake everybody's hand every meeting that we're in. Mina igast teenistuses ülistan kõikid inimeste käsi suurudu vähem. And if I'm lucky, I might be able to do it twice. Ja, kui mul veab, siis ma saan seda äkki kaks korda teha. At the beginning and the end. Nii alguses kui lõpus. You know, so I love to be be kind. Ja mul meelib olla lahke. But sometimes I'm talking to somebody and somebody walks past me and I'm like, oh, I missed him. Aga vahest me räägi kellegi ja siis teine paneb seal tagalt mööda ja siis, ah, jäin ilma neist. And so if I didn't get a chance to talk to them. Nii, kui minu polnud võim alust nendega rääkida. And nobody else talked to them. Ja kõigi teine ka ei rääkinud nendega. Then they probably won't be coming back again. Siis võibolla nad enam tagasi ei tule. We need to be doing our best. Me peaksime anma oma parima. To supplying the needs of others and stop looking at all our needs. Et täita ka teiste inimeste vajadus ja mitte üksnes otsida oma vajadustele täitmist. Instead of complaining, well nobody, no, I went to church today and nobody talked to me. Et virisid, et teot, ma käsin koguduses ja mitte keegi ei rääkinud minuga. I stood in the back and drank coffee and nobody came to see me. Ma istud siin taga ja jäin kohvi ja mitte keegi ei tulminu juurde. That's not a friendly place. Pole üldsegi tore koht, kus olla. Well, who did you talk to? Aga kellega sina rääkisid? Why don't you go talk to somebody? Miks sa ei lähe kellegi ka rääkima? Stop thinking about yourself and start looking around the room to somebody else who's just standing there drinking coffee. Ära mõtle üksis enda peale, vaid vaata ka, et ruumis on veel keegi, kes lihtsalt seisab seal ja jõub kohvi. Because there's always going to be somebody who maybe is not talking to you and goes, hey, What's your name? Good to see you in church. Sest alati on artasti keegi, kes ei räägi kellegi ja sa võib minna tema juurde öelda, et kuule, tere, kuidas läheb, kuidas koodus meeldis. What do you think of today's message? Mis sa täna sest sõnumist arvad? You know, and hopefully it's a good thing. Ja loodatavasti ühe räägivad head. But, but you know, talk to them. Aga räägi nendega. And then you could leave church thinking, yeah. Ja 
I was able to bless somebody. I was able to cheer somebody up. I was able to give somebody a good word. And it's not about what people did to me, it's about what I could do for others. Hopefully, if we have time, we're going to see that Paul, this is how Paul lives his life. <laughs> He's looking to others and not to himself. He's not complaining about you know, the other churches. He just said, well, you know you're the only one. You already know that. That you're the only one who's ever shared with me. You're the only one that has helped me with this financial burden like you did. And I'm so glad you did. He's not writing all the churches that he's started and all the people that he's he's brought to the Lord and saying, but they never did it and they never did it and they never did it. And let me give you a list of the people that I've met in Greece. You wouldn't believe all these people I brought to the Lord and they haven't done nothing. And then I went to Turkey. Look at this and this and this. And this and this and this. They know, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. Why, why won't they give to me? I don't know, they just forgot about me. How many know some people would have looked at that and got mad? Because of everything that didn't happen. Instead of being thankful for the thing that did happen. I'm so thankful that you guys gave me that gift. And I know my God is going to supply all your needs, just like He's supplying all my. One offering. He's a happy guy. No offering. He's a happy guy. I'm just going to do everything I can do for God until the day I die. And I know he's with me and I know he's going to help me. And he's always looking to others. He's always looking to others. And Paul is, is, is speaking of God's supply from a place of hurt. Because you know that he was hurting over this. He didn't complain about it, but you know it hurt him. Here's a man who gives, him, gives his life to tell people about Jesus. And no one even bothers to help him. And so you know that that it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Just like people that have turned their back on you or forgot about you. I mean, as long as you're happy and you're up at the party, man, they're loving it. You know, they're, they want to be with you. But as soon as you kind of isolate yourself and things go down and, you know, they just forget about you and go on to somebody else. It hurt that Philippians were the only ones that would be there. But he didn't let that impact his life. Amen. You're going to have hurts. You're going to have people turn their back on you. You're going to have times where, where, where you're going to have need and nobody, it's going to seem like nobody even cares. Because I've had those days. A church full of people and I feel like nobody cares. Well, maybe not Wednesday night full of people. but <laughs> Maybe someday Wednesday nights will be full of people. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. People all around me and I feel all alone. Because nobody understands, nobody cares. You been there? You felt me? Right? I, I mean, I, I've been there. And I'm just like, man. Everybody wants me and... Nobody wants to help me. They want my help, but nobody helps me. 
here the Philippians they're the only ones to invest back into Paul. Ja siin Filippos on ainsad, kes on valmis investeerima Paulusesse. And 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 in his time of need. Ja oma vajaduse hetkes. They did everything they could to be there. Nad tegid kõik, mis nad said selleks, et olla seal toeksta. He's so thankful. Ja ta on väga tänulik sellest. He's so happy for what they've done. Ta on niivõrd õnnelik selle üle, mis nad on teinud. He needed this. Kes ta vajas seda. You know, and, and, and anybody wants to ride with you when you've got a nice car. Nii tead, kui sul on kena auto, siis kõik tahavad sinuga kogu sõita on nii. But I want the person who's want to ride with me when I have to take the bus. Aga ma tahan olla nende inimestega, kes on nõus koos minuga sõitmes, kui ma pean bussiga sõitma. Right? I want the person that's going to be with me even when the things aren't going well. Ma tahan, et minu oleks need inimesed, kes on nii-öelda valmis minega, ma minu käe edasi ka siis, kui mul ei lähegi käesti. And you and I both know the people that are there for you in your greatest time of need, they're the people you'll never forget. Ja me teame, et need inimesed, kes on sinuga kõige suurema vajaduse keskel, on need, keda sa ei unusta kunagi. The people that took the middle, excuse me, the people that took the middle of their night to come and be with you. Inimesed, kes võtsid aega keset tööd selleks, et olla koos sinuga. To help you in your need. Et aidata sind sinu vajaduses. Those are the people that you'll always remember. Need on need inimesed, keda sa mäletad ahti. Amen. Amen. Be those people. Olge need inimesed. Be those people for somebody else. Olge need inimesed, kellegi teise jaoks. Our focus should not just be on me, our focus should be on you. Meie fokus ei peaks üksnes ise enda peal olema, vaid ka teiste peal. We should be looking at other people to help. Vaata, kuidas sa aidata teisi inimesi. Paul's looking at other people to help. Paulus vaata, kuidas teisi inimesi aidata. And so here, I'm running out of time. But... Verse 14. He said, even so, you have done well, and it is right of you to share with me in my present difficulty. Paul said, you've done what you could, and I really appreciate that. He valued what they could do. And they, he did not resent them for what they could not do. Ja ta ei põlanud neid selle tõttu, mida nad ei saanud teha. He didn't say, you know, thanks for the offering, but I just want to get out of here. Why didn't you send somebody to bring me home? Ta ei öelnud, et kuule, et ei tea ohvri eest, aga no miks keegi mind siin nagu välja ei aidanud? You know, why didn't you just bring a camel and let's get out of here? Keegi korras võin kaamli kaasa võtta ja siin oleks mind siit välja minema ei viinud, anju. You guys are just planning to leave me here, just throw some cash at me and think I'll be fine? Et tõete mulle siia kongi külla ja viskada pappi ja siis lähete minema, noh, mis mõttes? No, he's not complaining about what they didn't do. Ei, Paulus ei virise selle pärast, mida nad ei teinud. He said, but you've done well, it was right. Te ette väga hästi teinud, väga tuli te ette. It was right that you shared with me. Ei, te ette jaga asete minuga. You guys are awesome. Te ette väga võtta. Thank you. Ei, te ette ile. And so he's coming from a place of a thankful heart for anything that anybody would do. Nii et ta oli sees kohas, kus ta oli tänulik, mille iganes eest, mida keegi oli tõenud. Skip down to verse 18, he says this, he said, I've received payment in full, I have more than enough, I'm amply supplied, now that I've received from Aphroditus this gift that you sent, <coughs> they are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, <coughs> and pleasing to God. Mul on nüüd kõike ja küll, aga mu käed sai täis, kui ma Epafroditaselt võtsin vasta teepool saini hea lõhna, soodsa ofrina, mis on Jumalale meelepärane. Now they could not be everything for Paul. Nad ei saanud olla kõik Jumala jaoks. But they did their part. Paulus jaoks. But they did their part. Aga nad tegid oma osa. They could not be everything that he needed, but they did their part. Nad ei saanud olla Paulus jaoks kõik, mida Paulus vajas, aga nad andsid oma parima. But who was everything for Paul? Aga kes oli kõik Paulus jaoks? His Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Tema isend ja päest ja Jeesus Kristus. Right? Jesus was everything. Jeesus oli kõik, mis seal oli vaja. But he was thankful for them being used by God. Thank you for your part. But he's the one that I'm trusting in. I'm trusting in him to continue to bless me and also bless you. And, and then Paul, he, he's, he's displaying how content he is in every situation. And if you listen to his heart here uh, in this difficult time, remember this is one of the most difficult parts of his life. He's not complaining. But he's concerned for other people. Aga ta muretseb teist inimeste pärast. He's not saying, why doesn't anybody help me? He's saying, now how can I help y'all? Ta ei ütle, et miks keegi mind ei haita, või ta ütleb, kuidas mina saan teid aidata. Go with me to Philippians chapter 2. Näeme Filipaste teise peadükki. This is his heart. Kiri Filipastele teine peadükki, selline on tema süda. When he looked for 
to help other people. Et kui ta vaatas, kuidas saaks teisi inimesi aidata. It helped him to focus on the supply and not the need. Siis see aitas tal keskenduda varustusele, mitte vajadusele. It helped him to focus on the one who would give, not, not what, what he did not have. See aitas tal keskenduda sellele, kes, kes teda varustas, mitte sellele, mida talle ei olnud. And so he's looking to God to be the supplier. Nii, et vaatab Jumala peale, et Jumal oleks tema varustaja. And then in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 25. Nii, kirit Filipas, ta teine peadub, kui 25 salm. He said this, but I think it is necessary to send back Aphroditus, my brother, my co-worker, my fellow soldier, also who, who is your messenger whom you sent to take care of my needs. Filipas, ta teine peadub, ma olen pidanud vajalikuks saata teie juurde vende Aphroditase, oma kaastöölise ja kaasvõitleja, teie saadiku ja minu vajadus teie eest hoolitseja. He said, man, this guy is my brother. He's my co-worker. We're doing this together. He's been my support. He's a fellow soldier in the army of God. He said, but I think it's necessary now for me to send him back. Verse 26, for he longs for all of you and it's distressed him because you heard that he was ill. So Aphroditus, uh, he's in trouble and, and he needs to go home. And so he said, you sent him here and he did what you, what you wanted him to do. He was my help. And now I'm going to send him back to you. And so Paul, he's at this place where they're eventually going to rule his death. And he is not really concerned about himself. He's concerned about this other guy who's there helping him in the church. He's not saying, can you send five more people because I just really need support. <laughs> it looks like this is not going so well. No, he said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to send the boy back. Thank you for sending him to help me. But now we're, he's, it's time for him to go back to you and be with you. Paul had this heart where he's always looking to help somebody. Paul is at this place that, you know, he, he's, he's, his own life is on the line. And though he has needs, he's more focused on their needs than on his needs. Amazing. I love the man's heart. But listen, this is why he could be who he was. This is how Paul was able to be content in every situation. He was always looking to help others. He was looking to see what the Lord would do through him. Not what the Lord would do for him. You know, I need this and I need that and God and this and God and that. No, he just said, Lord, what can I do to bless people today? Today, what can I do to be a blessing? That would be an amazing prayer for you to pray every day. And mean it from your heart. God, what can I do today to be a blessing? God, give me an opportunity to help somebody. Give me an opportunity to speak something to somebody's life. Give me an opportunity to spend some time with somebody and just plant some seeds. God, use me today. That's Paul. That's how Paul lived his life. Not just when things are good, when things are bad. And so he's saying... I've learned the secret. I've learned the secret. I've learned the secret. God's provision is always more than enough. God's provision is so good. And it doesn't matter if I have lots of needs or I have no needs. If I'm rich or poor. If I'm hungry or full. 
I trust my God. Ma usaldan oma Jumalat. I trust my God. Ma usaldan oma Jumalat. He's going to come through tomorrow. Ja tema toob mind läbi ka hommesest päevast. He's going to come through the next day. Ja tuleb läbi ka järgmisel päeval. And I'm going to live with hope and I'm going to live with faith until the day I die. Ja ma elan lootusega kuni päevani, mil ma suure. Until the day they take my voice. Kuni päevani, mil minu hääl ära võetakse. I'm going to keep speaking for the Lord. Ma räägin Jumala eest. That should be the way we choose to live our lives. This is the secret. Paul is displaying in the book of Philippians. He's displaying the secret of being content in every situation. He knew he was doing the will of God. He knew he was doing the will of God. And he trusted God to be with him every day. Amen. That should be you. Do the will of God. And trust God to be with you every day. Amen. Amen. Would you stand with me? And I want to pray over you tonight before we go. Hallelujah. Father, I love you. Thank you for your church. Thank you for, for blessing each and every one of us every day. Lord, I pray that you would open up our eyes today and help us to see the many blessings that we have in our lives. The blessing that we have to be a part of this church. The blessing that we have to live in this country. The blessing that we have for, for all of our material needs. Father, I thank you that you are an abundant supplier. And Lord, may we look to you to continue to be all that you are. And Lord, I pray that you would use your people to bless others. Give them opportunities to sow seeds. Give them opportunities to help people. Give them a heart to give. And not to be takers. But to be given. And Father, I thank you that you've sent people across our path. That we would be able to speak into their lives. And give them something every day. And Father, I just trust you that this word would, 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 would be brought back to our remembrance. That you would remind us of these truths. That we would be able to live like Paul. That even in our time of greatest need. That we would declare that you are our strength. And that you are our supply. And we love you. And we thank you for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. What did you get something out of this tonight? Amen. He is our supply. And we're going to come back next Wednesday and I'm going to kind of do a part two on this. Because I've got like three more messages I'm going to try to put down into one. But uh, I've got some things that are kind of rolling around in my heart for, for these next couple of weeks. But God's provision is. All right, so come back next Wednesday and we'll, we'll add to what we've talked here tonight. But does anybody have a prayer request before we go? Yes.